In this video, we're going to show you an amphibious operation in Command Professional Edition. In the lower left corner of the screen, we have our carrier battle group sailing northeast towards their objective. Our carrier battle group consists of a carrier, amphibious warfare ships, escorts, and a combat air patrol of four FA-18 Super Hornets supported by an E-2 Hawkeye AEW aircraft. To the northeast is the hostile coast where we will conduct the amphibious landing. This entire operation is executed by command's artificial intelligence with mission orders provided by the user before the scenario starts. Given the mission, the AI transits the battle group towards the hostile coast and provides the cap and supporting AEW during the approach. The AI then conducts pre-landing airstrikes and finally executes the landings on the beaches and the landing zones using a combination of LCACs and air assault elements. The actual details of each stage will be calculated by the AI based on the user's pre-scenario inputs. As our forces detect and classify units, their contact status will automatically update, as seen here by the yellow unidentified contacts changing to red when they are verified as hostile. As the hostile air contacts approach closer, our combat air patrol automatically moves to engage them. The large pink circle surrounding the Super Hornets denotes their air engagement range. As our Super Hornets engage, their data link will allow them to work cooperatively, ensuring each enemy threat gets one missile targeted on it. Upon launch, the Amarans loft and approach their targets from above, diving towards them and turning on their terminal radars for guidance, which is the white cone you see projecting forwards. The incoming aircraft are bombers, so are no threat to the Super Hornets, and because of their lack of AEW, are very likely unaware of their presence. Only one of the bombers was destroyed by the first missile salvo, with the others being damaged but still flying. Another salvo of missiles finishes off the remaining bombers. Meanwhile, a new threat has been detected. Red has launched anti-ship missiles that are approaching the carrier battle group extremely fast. The carrier battle group immediately fires a wave of defensive interceptors using a shoot-shoot-look policy based on the high threat and limited reaction time. The defending interceptors destroyed all the incoming threats, aided by their ability to dynamically retarget missiles if their target is destroyed, which is a capability only available on the most modern systems. As our CAP and AEW aircraft run low on fuel, the AI automatically cycles replacements as the Airborne Aircraft RTB. The returning aircraft will be rearmed and refueled as needed. The group now launches a seed strike of four F-35Cs supported by two EA-18G Growlers. The objective is to destroy the air defenses around the landing zones to make it safe for our upcoming assault. F-35Bs and AH-1Z Super Cobras are launched to engage any remaining ground units that might interfere with the landings. Now the assault itself begins with the launching of Ospreys and Sea Stallions. After a few minutes, they are unloaded and heading home, and the Marines capture the airfield, which can now be used to ferry in heavier equipment by air. Until those forces are ready to deploy into the airfield, Marines will bring in their heavier equipment with LCACs. One wave of LCACs heads towards the North Beach, and another wave heads south to reinforce the airfield. As you would expect, the LCACs can travel inland and are not limited to water. After unloading, the LCACs head back to bring in the next wave. At this point, the air assault has landed, captured the airfield, and the first wave has come ashore by LCACs. Subsequent waves are planned, but that is as far as this demo goes. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to know more, please go to pro.matrixgames.com.